When it comes to Christmas lights, there is one display in Kokomo that outshines the rest. It's so impressive. It was featured on tonight's episode of the Great Christmas Light Fight here on RTV6. RTV6's Kyle Mounts shows us how Kokomo is getting in on the holiday spirit and the national spotlight. There are neighborhood light displays, and then there's the We Care Park light display in Kokomo, featuring giant Christmas trees, wreaths for photo ops, and even window displays. It's a 24-year tradition for Mike Wyant and his team of volunteers. Because we're the best! Decorating a park that spans more than two acres is a big job, but they also make it a lot of fun. We're all great friends. Um, some these, these people are like my grandparents back here, maybe. I beg your pardon. Yeah, so, um, we, learn, we, we learn from each other. Mike supplies all of the lights, not just for the park, but for the neighborhood, too. He says it's about more than just the decorations. It's a way to say thanks for help provided to his parents and their fast-growing family years ago. My mother had 16 and 18 years, and people helped us. You don't forget that. Yeah, and uh, you just don't forget that. And you, this is my way to say, and I didn't forget it, and, and give them back to the community in this way, because I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. The team of volunteers starts putting up lights in August for the big reveal, coming alive with the flip of a very big switch on Thanksgiving night. Everybody's here, and this place is just packed, full of people. And then you flip the switch and all these lights pop on at once, and it's just really amazing. Walking into this winter wonderland, you're surrounded by lights, literally more than a million in all. I'm here almost every day, and it, I, I feel like I don't even see it all every day. There's something always new to look at. When this began more than 20 years ago, Mike had just a mere 66,000 lights. But that still required help from the power company. After just one call, he had his own transformer. I called him, I said, you better get out of here because when I throw this switch, the transformer was a block and a half up the street. I said, I'm going to burn it up. The visit you saw on ABC by Carter Osterhouse and the great Christmas light fight crew actually took place last December, nearly a year ago. They shoot that far in advance. Mike says he never could have imagined how much work goes into a show like that. It's unbelievable what they do behind the scenes to show a 20-minute show. Four days, all those people here. My interview over there was almost four hours. It's just an honor to be on that show. Yeah. It just just was an honor, even though they wore me out in four days, but, but it's just an honor to be on the show, and I'm sure every one of my helpers here feel the same way. Sure do. And Mike doesn't keep a penny of the donations made by appreciative Christmas light fans. No, no, no. It all goes to charitable projects in the community. In Kokomo, Kyle Mounts, RTV6. <laughs> oh, wow.